Alright guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. It looks like there's some shit going down here. I will have your head, Seeker. I will have your head, Seeker. Be at ease, Magister Row. Weapons down. Alright, so, um, Alexander... Oh, wait, maybe you should have talked to him. Fuck. Do you want to talk to him? Instead? Is this going to involve loading? Uh, yeah. Or do you not care? Uh, I don't care. Okay. Gareth, I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade <laughs> resting flat across his palms. A gesture of goodwill and peace. Bello Alexander, he must explain himself. Whatever Alexander's reply might have been, it is drowned by Gareth's alarming chuckle. Godwoken, have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. This slug defends his own cruelty on the basis of ignorance. He expects me to forgive him for everything he's taken from me. Every fallen seeker, every friend, every slain Godwoken. My own parents. He says this to me while their flesh still rots in the graves I dug for them. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner, yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. Demand that he yield. The quest for the divine supersedes his juvenile need for revenge. Gareth looks to you, then to Alexander. He digs his teeth into his lower lip until blood seeps out from the tender skin. The silence is thick, yet neither Gareth nor Alexander move. You are not Damien. You are not Damien. Damien. My sins have been as great as yours, Alexander. I've just been too blind to see them. It's just... your father. You could forgive Alexander when I could not, Godwoken. I hope you show me the same kindness. I will meet you aboard the Lady Vengeance when you are ready. There you go. Now, now go talk to him. You want to save first? Yeah. I can't wait for you to fuck up your your fucking persuasion. FN, FN Ben Mazid, my killer. Ooh, ooh. But Alexander smiles at you. A familiar smile from when he was but a boy in his father Lucian's arms. For a moment your lips twitch automatically in return. Until you remember all that led to this moment. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no that's fine. I was, I was saying that you hope you uh, are not okay. here to try to kill me again. I think we need to talk. I was going to say, you have a 50% damage buff. <laughs> Ask the question burning in your mind. Why? Why did you and Lucian send me on the suicide mission to kill all the elves? Why did you lie to me? The same reason my father and I did everything. To protect the realm. As that is what the Divine is for. What price? All of Rivalon against just one portion. Any Divine would do the same, if it meant saving everything. You should be proud my father picked you. His best right-hand man. He knew you would make it. But he also knew that if he told you the truth, you would falter. He knew you well, if that. He looks at you slyly. Alexander was always easy to read, and right now his face is an open book. He's clearly remembering the conversation in which your fate was chosen. You realize he's telling the truth. It was what had to be done. No two ways about it. With clenched teeth, shake your head. There's no justification for, for genocide. I'm sorry you feel that way, Ifan. You weren't raised by my father. If you were, you would understand. The life of some is nothing compared to the lives of all. Here is the truth, Ifan. I'm Lucian's son, and I will take any actions necessary for the good of all. Nothing can stop me becoming the next divine. Hmm. Oh, man. There's the there's the desire to know more, and then there's also the E fan option. You gotta do the E fan option. Through clenched teeth, mutter, 
over my dead body. If that is how it must be, <laughs> that is how it will be. Certainly, you cannot ascend. You are not ready. Only I have the will, the strength to do what is necessary. And now that those traitors, Dallas and Friedemann, have no influence over me, the way forward is clear. I curse what happened to Dallas, actually. Wait, what happened to Dallas? Did we kill them? Sure, I'm gonna ask what happened to him and now that. Should we just ask these questions? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Ask what happened between him and Dallas. She had her accomplice, Vriedemann, pose as someone who could train me how to master my god woken powers. But it was a lie. They sought to hinder, not help. While I was being occupied by Vriedemann, Dallas began taking over the order. I confronted them once I returned from the Hall of Echoes, and the pair of them tried to kill me. They must be Black Ring agents, tasked with preventing me from ascending. They won't succeed, though. I know what needs to be done, and I have good, loyal Magister and Paladin companions to help me see that it is done. Ah, uh, you lost the Ethan dialogue option. Oh well. Yeah. Just keep going. Say that you seek the council, does he know how to access it? I do. And plainly, you do not. Godwoken you might be, but you are not worthy of becoming divine. Every word you speak betrays the fact. Only I have the will, the strength to do what is necessary. And now that those traitors, Dallas and Vriedemann, have no influence over me, the way forward is clear. I might as well do the e option. Tell him he's deluded. He must know that his actions prove he's not fit to be divine. The divine. Not fit? I have given my life to the Order. I will take the sacred duty of divinity with the seriousness it deserves. I will not take disparagement from a turncoat assassin like you. <laughs> Make no mistake, Godwoken. I do not need to work with you. I will enter the council when I am fit and ready. But you are desperate. That much is clear. Make yourself of use to me, and I shall help you unlock the council. You must strike down the one who leads the Black Ring on this island. That is my price. Ask why he doesn't just get rid of the Black Ring's leader himself. Do you really think the future Divine should take such risks? Besides, you're the one seeking help. Perhaps you can put your murderous skills to use for the greater good. Hmm. You want to kill the Black Ring anyway, right? Yeah, let's not kill him yet. He might be like a part of the story, so. So, agree to help? Yeah. Agree to help, and ask what he knows about this Black Ring leader. He's known as the Sallow Man. My father faced him in battle during the Great War. He's a wicked creature, a master of illusions who hides in the shadows and sends others to do his bidding. Alexander produces an old cowl and mutters an incantation. The cloth glows a cool blue for a moment before settling back. He hands the cowl over to you. My father concocted this charm so that he could face the Sallow Man in battle. The cowl has now been laced with its essence. essence. Wear it, and he will be forced to reveal himself. Succeed, and perhaps you can join me inside the council. There we can see who shall be the next divine. Once and for all. You're thinking the same thing. Alexander wants to be the new divine. <laughs> Ralic told me to seek divinity myself, and I'll not hand it over to Alexander. Ralic told me to seek divinity myself. I'll not hand it over to Alexander. <laughs> you read it again. <laughs> Alexander's is Ralik's minion. Uh, Zoros so would justly disapprove of his candidacy. He hardly has his father's qualities. Besides, he's not to be trusted. Over my dead body. <laughs> hey, beasts. Hey. Like, like Steve. All right, I'm going to talk to Paladin. She gives you a cool and steady look, then turns away. Uh, she's got a 200 forest axe. Neat. Oh. What? Oh, 
I am the next divine. Oh, okay. Hey, save. What are you doing? Yeah, I didn't do shit. What do you think I you are? This, I have the Dispel Illusion ability now. Okay. Removes invisibility and illusions set by the Sallow Man. Alright. Yeah, I guess you'll try using it on that. Alexander. I, I, I think he's real. Maybe. The last forest tiger. Hmm. What are you all about? Closed. The tiger seems to be praying. I am the last of my hide, my stripe, my streak. All of us, but I fell dead in the mist when the two legs had their war. I pray to thee to bring us back to save us from our end. She cocks her head to listen to a voice you cannot hear. If the Covenant be in good faith, O oh black-winged god, and all the forest tigers shall return, then I shall accept your... Uh, watch to see what happens next. They all shall die, I swear it, and I shall start. She stares directly at you and bares her teeth. With the heel lizard. I think we're about to fight a tiger. <laughs> you need a blood surface? No, I'm good. Alright, one sec. We're going to start now. Stop it! Eat shit, Aphan. Hey, look, I made my own blood surface. <laughs> All according to plan. Yourself. Wait, why did why did oh she wasn't in the fight? That's so weird. Right, I'm gonna try this new ability I just learned. Oh, it's all in fucking skill bar three though. Somebody scrolls in the way. Fuck I you, skill really bar three. Up. Wait. No, where is it? Oh, I'm so lost, dude. Did I not learn this ability? I it's put a it on. Fucking tiger, just fucking kill it. Like it's like frosted flakes, man. Like seriously, well, why are you fucking afraid of a bowl of cereal? What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to use an ability, dude. Calm the fuck down. He's not an illusion. I, mean, I, I assure you, he's quite real. It's quite real. Shadow infusion. The fuck is that? Movement plus one. What? What, is it, what the? He's fuck a ghost you? now. Okay, you made him spooky, but why? What does it do? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to find out. Even the pipe is just case. Alright, what does he have? Corrupted blade. So you can turn invisible now, it's neat. And corrupting blade. Why do you keep trying to turn you, you keep turning your incarnate champion into fucking Sabeel. Like you're it's not gonna happen. You're, he's not gonna have an interesting fucking storyline. Oh, Corrupted Blade takes free action points? That's garbage. <laughs> Get wrecked. What does it even it's do? It's good if I haste him, but fuck. What does it even do, though? Uh, it just, like, does a shit ton of damage. Like, sets decaying and shit. Fuck it. I'll yield to none. Alright, let me go... Elemental Arrowhead. Oh, now he's wasting time. I mean, dude, I'm fucking just doing more damage. Fucking... Like, I'm making him suffocate. Oh no, I can't finish him. Greet the JK. Me. Oh, dude, we leveled up. Sweet. So why did we kill that... Oh, fuck. I got another fucking passive point. Fuck. Oh no! Well, I maxed out per Persuasion. Now I don't know what to do. Because Lucky Charm? Yeah. Might as well. Uh, let's see here. You guys are doing two-handed here. Yeah, might as well. Alright. Fuck, what do I even get here? Ambidextrous, no, all skilled up. I think there's something I want to, what have I been focusing on up to now? Uh, Picture of Health, Pet Pal, Opportunist, Meme Tonic, alright. Um, Duck Duck Goose? 
Fuck. Can't I can't duck duck goose. Dude, maybe maybe this is the the play for the pawn. Maybe. Uh, you know what a rush would be good if I was at low health ever. <laughs> I've never at low health. Uh, stench, no. Slingshot. I have 5 meter range through grenade throws. Amazing. No, I don't dual wield. When resurrected, you go to full health. Don't need that either. Uh, living armor. Oh, that's. I think that's the one I did. All healing you receive by skills or consumables goes to your magic armor. Uh, lead, not, no lead when standing in blood. That thing's garbage. Uh, not Gorilla. I mean, Gorilla might be good on Sabeel. Because she sometimes gets that attack off. But I don't know. It, I don't know if that counts as... Invisible may not count as sneaking. Does it? Do you think it counts as sneaking? Um, maybe. Because it... Is it... Okay. Wait, sneaking over from stealth? It says sneaking. So I think it's very specific. Mm. So I don't think I can. Do, I don't think I'll do anything. Comeback kid, maybe comeback kid. Uh, it's either either living armor or comeback kid. I think at this point for this guy. Yeah, let's just living armor. Fuck it. I have to say, a lot of these, a lot of these passive points are very. Um, their talents are very disappointing. I have to say. I don't. I don't really like a lot of them. All right. So what should Sabil do? Five star dinner. Oh. Glass cannon? No. Because we've learned that glass cannon is a piece of shit. I could give her a meme tonic or whatever. Parry master, pet pal. No. No. Uh, I think I think the one that... I think someone was saying far out man or something. No, I already have far out man. Fuck. Dude, I don't even know what to get anymore. <laughs> we fucking lost. Say that again. I could do stench just so melee people don't find me attractive in combat, but it might mean that like I, I can't bang Red Prince anymore. Could be that could be a, a, a significant downside. Uh, maybe he's into the stench. You don't know. Uh, that's true. He's a lizard. Oh uh, no, fucking Red Prince is like picking. Yeah, whatever. Maybe, maybe I should get uh, the thing that comeback hit or something. So if I get focus, then you know, then maybe I don't actually die. Or maybe, maybe, maybe actually Elemental Ranger. So it says here, shooting arrows will inflict bonus damage based upon the surface your, sta your target is standing in. So if they stand in blood, doesn't that mean they'll, I'll do bonus physical? I guess, but what if they're standing in fire and they're a file guy? You're going to heal them. That's true, actually, so maybe I shouldn't do that. And also, I don't know, it says Elemental Damage as well. I'm not, I don't do Elemental Damage. I don't know. Yeah, let's just do Meme, meme Tonic or whatever the fuck. We'll just do that. All right, let's get more wits then, more crits. Crits for the fucking crit okay. god. Yeah. Oh, dude, she has like four lucky charm. The fuck? Why haven't I been opening everything with her? <laughs> we got rid of the lucky charm. No, I didn't actually. Apparently, what the fuck? Why do I have a tight ring here? I don't want this shit. Oh, dude, a fucking paladin, paladin's arm. The fuck? When did you give this to me? White hot pain, fangs sinking into you. A magister appears and offers her hand. You reach for it, but there's a loud snarl. Warm blood soaks you. Then, darkness. Also, I just noticed that the fucking this thing's a ghost. Also, I just got corrosive touch, so that's that's uh useful. Nice. Arrow storm. Oh shit! I just got arrow storm. Nice. Uh, well, I, I've I've been able to use it now. Um. Sets, destroy physical armor on target and set acid status. Receives bonus from Intel Hente. Okay, well that's useless to me. I I don't have polymorph. Fuck. Okay, I'll just put bless on. I don't care. Oh my god, my fucking skill bar is a fucking disaster. Holy shit. I I I refuse. I refuse. Okay, let's fucking talk the to the tiger. The ghostly tiger bears her teeth at you. A triumphant glint in her eye. When the god king brings the forest tigers back, and we rise to rule, you shall be the first to die. 
For you, there shall be no return. Shrug consumed the spirit source. I am the last of my hide, my stripe, my streak. You cannot take me, for I shall rise. You cannot take me, for I shall... She shall... nothing. Delicious. Well, that, that, that does it for the last four striker. Where'd you go to? I want to go get some points out of Beast. Oh, okay. I guess I'll hang out over here. Just gonna ignore the altar to the god there? Yeah, no. I, I don't I don't give a shit about that. You have to, There's a Dwarf of War Axe here? A large flame rune? Fuck yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm going back up. I mean, that's that's just a... <laughs> don't that's mind a, me. A, that's literally a waypoint. What the fuck are you talking about? I already grabbed the waypoint. Yeah, but what are you talking about altar? Oh, that thing? Oh, it is an altar. All right, well, I'll fucking go talk to it. The leaves of the altar. Perception of two. A gentle murmur on the breeze. You lean in. A sweet smell wafting around you. The smell of fresh wood, of blooming flowers, of a gentle summer's night. Uh, bow your head and whisper a desperate plea to tear. Uh, actually, I'll just breathe in, drawing the beautiful scent deep within into you. The scent fills your mind, and your vision starts to swim. You blink, and find yourself standing in a dark glade. On the wind, you hear a whisper, God Woken. You turn towards the voice, and see the broken body of a fawn. A raven is perched upon its head, pecking at the gory hollow that once held its eye. You're about to turn away, when the body twitches. God Woken, it whispers. The raven turns its gore-streaked beak towards you. Its eyes are a deep, bloody red. God woken. It croaks as it takes to the air, circling the glade. God woken. The fawn's breathing is shallow and ragged. I need to heal, it murmurs. Please, I need your life's energy, please. I need your blood. Very well, pull a blade from your belt and cut yourself so blood drips into the fawn's mouth. As your blood touches the deer's lips, <laughs> its head fuck? lurches forward, clamping its mouth over the wound. You can feel half of your vitality slowly drain away. That's a lot of blood to lose for this fucking garbage. Yeah, man. You pull the gonna... back, breaking the connection, and see that the deer has grown too long in sizes. It gets to its feet, kicks something towards you, and stalks away. What were you talking about? Looks like a bear back. Just give me like five minutes. You're doing something? Yeah, but like, you can continue, so be right back. Uh, you pick up its gift, a round white stone, and are getting ready to leave when you feel a cold, heavy thump on your shoulder. You look up into the fierce red eyes of the raven. I see you, God Woken, it croaks. I see you. The blood-flecked beak lunges at your eye, and you feel it. You feel it tear through the lid, through the jelly, and crack against bone. You stumble back, grasping at your face. Your eyes are fine, but the altar is changed, with the crescent moon hacked into the wood. As you leave, you can't shake the dull, thudding ache in your eye. Ah, oh, neat. Okay. Well, Ken says you be back, so this is the perfect time to, uh, you know, do interesting things. You required five. Hmm. Well, I know how to handle that. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. There we go. Uh, and... Hmm. The destination pyramid Fuck doesn't you. answer the call. Is something blocked? I'm back. Hey. Fuck. Alright, I, I need to go back to La Lady of Vengeance for some reason. How are you doing? <laughs> what were you doing when I was gone? Uh, nothing. Fuck. What, seriously? What are you trying to do? Um... Nothing, of course. Yo, know, the, the the stealing system sucks balls. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I've got sword 
I was gonna steal all your gold, and then when you came back, you'd be like, where's your gold? How much did you get? Nothing, like, like 4k or something? Like, no, 3,800, that's all you can steal in one go, and then it doesn't let you do anymore. I actually went to the mirror to respect so I could do it. Like, that's how dedicated I was, man. Yeah, have fun with never being able to steal from me again. What the fuck? Lore Master... Why do I have- why do I have a- uh, why do I have a fucking point left over in ability points? Fuck it, whatever. Apparently I have max lucky charm on this person. Why are you a bad man? Apparently I am. Okay, how, why did the Lady Vengeance all of a sudden become a restricted area? Hmm. The destination pyramid it's always been, you can't teleport a pyramid from it. Something blocking it. Well, you can't teleport a pyramid while you're on the ship either. Yeah. It's weird. It right? was like that in the last act. Well, I don't fucking know. Because I didn't try it all that much. Alright, well, um, what do we have left here? What the fuck's down there? Well, I already looked down there, so... Oh yeah, it's another way into the thing. I mean, this area looks kind of important. Probably not, though. I thought we did that. It looks completely explored, but fine. I'll go there anyways. I'm going down there. I mean, we've done everything right. we can up there anyways, with uh, dear old uh, Prince Albert, or whatever the fuck his name is. Oh. Uh, the Elven Temple, I think, is where we're supposed to bring back, uh, Fuckface, so... Ah, I don't get it now, that's... What strange contraptions yeah. are these? Oh, uh, they they have robots. Battle bots. Alright, well, all that's all I can do. An empty pedestal stands before you. From the ostentatious nature of the carvings upon it, you can tell it once used to hold something of great value. Something's missing here. Something valuable. There's gold on the ground. It's not our gold, though. Essential engineering. Oh, dude, dude, automations. Yeah, this is off. Ah, whatever. Uh, atom automatons. Or whatever the fuck. Unsure about how to get these mechanical wonders. Uh, step one, make a run. How? With a phase capacitor, of course. Alright. Do you, do you have a phase uh, capacitor on you, by chance? Of course. Oh, I knew it. I knew you'd have it. Lovely it's in the back sandals. Alright, let me go teleport old Lady Vengeance and get the guy. Where is okay. he? The sooner I find my brethren, the better. He slings a quiver of eyes sharp. I won't lie. Alright. Actually, where do you leave him? On Lady the Vengeance. Seem to have made this place <laughs> into a strong yeah, there you go. This is where we part ways, I think. Thank you. Until next time. Oh, dude, I got a bow. And it's actually interesting. Okay, what does a level 9 piece of shit like himself have of this kind of bow for? Oh, man, this is tough, actually. Versus, like, the Divine Crossbow? Yeah, because the Divine Crossbow gives me 20% crit chance. But his bow has, like, much m more damage, like, like, in general. But my multiplier isn't exactly that high, so I think I'll I think I'll take this one. I mean, it's uh, it's a hundred more damage. That's what it is at the ch at like the cost of like twenty percent crit, so or something. I, actually, it depends. You want more consistent damage and like bigger crits or more often crits. I mean, the interesting thing is it doesn't actually give me uh, twenty percent crit. It has diminishing returns for some reason. So let me uh, let me put my let me change my runes around. Oh, we actually got like a super rune here. I'm just gonna put this masterwork rune into one of these frames, maybe. No, because then I can't fucking change it, so I don't want to do that. You can have the fucking ridiculous helmet. It's a deal. There you go. Now it does like a shit ton dam of damage. All right, let's go. So where where do you want to go next? Did you say the Lunar Gate? Is that where you want to go? 
uh, maybe, but uh, the thing I, is, I totally want to go to the Luna Gate. Yeah, but the thing is, we actually didn't actually see it, so we lost. How much time we got? Uh, we got time. I mean, you left, and I pretty much uh, you you said five minutes. I thought you'd been much longer than that. Fuck! This isn't the Lunar Gate. I'm insulted that this game thought that that, that was the Lunar Gate. Is it this way? Yeah, it is this way. Is it? Yes, yeah, over there somewhere. Oh, there's a ruby up there. Yeah, there's ruby everywhere. Actually, we can go. Yeah, let's go back over here, and I can just jump across the bridge. So. I mean, Super Mario, that shit right up. I am, after all, a Yoshi. Oh, you didn't take the you didn't take the fucking cursed firestorm grenade. What's wrong with you? Honestly, full. No, you fucking. Like I, I have so much shit as it is. <laughs> well, it's, what's one more thing gonna do? <laughs> Apparently, fucking over cover you. you. Son of a bitch, <laughs> dude! It's a grenade though. Who's gonna fucking take that? Just, I don't know, give me your fucking stacks of something. No, it's fine, I got beast. Uh. Uh. Someone's being eaten. Oh, they're fi they're eating the large ruby. Snout, what are you doing? Two black ring wargs, heaving, stinking mounds of gristle and malice, play like puppies with a large crimson gem. Reach out to pet the nearest warg. Mm, boys. Away. Now. Uh, ask them if you can play with the gym. Uh, no. Well, maybe. Uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> Tell them if you don't give them the gem, if they don't give you the gem, you'll kick the shite out of them. Uh, no. Yeah. I'm hungry. Gonna find food. Uh, okay. Yes. Two tight-bound masses of hair and fang amble away in search of food. Nice. You wonder if this is what you think it is. An imp-built pocket realm. Within the crimson crystal, a galaxy of stars seems to twinkle, and beyond the stars lies a strange and wondrous realm. It's as you'd hoped. The stars swirl and move, and form a face, the face of an imp. Looky, looky, looky here! What's red and black and blue all over? You read about these gems, so you know this is a pointless riddle. Tell the gem to cut to the point, then threaten to smash it on a rock. Oh! Rightly, 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 right! Oh, very rightly, right! Come inside! The face dissolves, and the stars begin to swirl. And so too does your head, as you are taken to... Oh shit. I've always wanted to see an impish pocket realm. Should I come in? Uh, I mean, Me if too. you want to. Fascinating. Apparently I'm slowed. Fuck. Fuck, I'm, I might as well just have wings. Hey, save. One sec. What'd you do? I picked up the ruby. I'm not gonna teleport to you. The machine is manipulating time itself. I'm in a hurry here. Uh, hey. Uh, it's manipulating time. So this is a good time to read all my stuff here. Explain this. Time passing more slowly. What are you talking about? We're inside this ruby, right? That's the ruby we're inside. <laughs> oh shit. Lucky find. <laughs> Lucky find. <laughs> I didn't get this teleportation scroll. Uh. Yeah, I'll race you to uh, race you to the other side of this place. Okay. Uh, actually, is it heavy metal crate? No, I want. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Piece of shit. I'm gonna come over there and bitch slap you. Teach you a lesson. No, I hit myself. Click. Uh, 
Oh, uh, dude, a high tier blank skill book. All right, give that to Effin. Okay, this is locked. Yeah, hey, didn't get a good combo. That's yeah, let me, odd. Let me put Sabiel on the uh, thing here. Is there uh Actually, we could just bring this crate over there. Actually, I'll just put it over there. Is there more shit to do here? Okay, there's more. There's definitely more to this place, like that one over there. I'm on it, boss. Ah, oh, we did it. But he took his wheel off of it, now it's closed. Fuck! Okay, we need items to put on this stuff. Oh, there's boxes here, so I'll just go fucking put that on. It's taking too long. Shit, it's on fire, the crate. Why, why am I walking around the fucking fire as if it matters to me? Because it does matter. Would you want to step in the fire? Look at that. Oh god! <laughs> Kobe! Dude, I fucking just like, I fucking nailed that shit. Alright, we need one more for this. Yeah, we need one more for this one. I mean, I, on, oh. honestly, I'll probably just... Can I teleport a permit here? Yeah, I can, so I'll just teleport a permit to the other side, maybe. There's a crate right there, move that. Man... That takes time. I know I'm the fucking slam dunk champion, but seriously. Right. Can't, can't oh, see. there's one here as well. Oh, you're so dumb. Enough. You're so fucking dumb, actually. No, no, you're not fucking just gonna stand there. Here, do beast, beast, move out of the way. Move right now. You fucking fat piece of shit. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, we're missing one still though. Fuck, did you do? Uh, I guess the, that chair doesn't count. Well, I clicked though when I put it on. Love is not the answer. Love? Let me see if I stand on. Maybe it's like the weight. Yeah. It must have been the weight. I'll just have Ethan stand there for now, whatever. I mean, is there no more crates? Fine. Alright. One sec. Sabiel, get to the other side. Oh shit, they have electrified steam clouds. Alright, well, time to go read the books. I told you we should have brought in barrels with us. Fire resistance potion. Let me go get that. We're, we're in no rush here, to be honest. Yeah, alright. Uh, uh, curse flask. You already know that one. Uh, there's more fucking shit here. I'm fucking lost. I'm sure it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I can just teleport to you. Up here. What does the imp say? Uh, it has a handbook. Emergency protocol. In case of interdimensional meltdown, please deactivate the core to ensure a continu continuity of existence. We would urge all who come in contact with the core to exert caution, as many rely on the existence to exist. <laughs> uh, it says to suggest following pipes. Thunderbolt grenade? Yeah, boy. No, this would be a why. Traitor! An acorn is not the answer, but it may be close. Closer than oh, a man, chicken the chicken Answer search continues. Well, what's the matter? Just lamenting the dead imp. Oh shit. Who opened that? I have no idea. This place sucks. Like, it's so slow. <laughs> Doom 3 versus... Oh, hey! From the size and shape of the spirit, you deduce that this is, or was, an imp. From its expression, you deduce that it's not very happy about being dead. Search for the imp for what he knew about the machine. You are Marazaken, the engineer. You keep the machine running and focused on its primary task. Just as your ancestors did, you await the answer to the great question. What is the universe? But the machine only knows what the universe is not. It searches for the right answer by eliminating the wrong ones. You expect the process to be complete soon. Any millennium now, in fact. But recently, you've been getting the impression that the machine, well, 
It just doesn't trust you. Uh, search the image memories for the manner of its death. You are Marasaken, the engineer. After long years of quiet work, the gem falls into the jaws of two great black ring wargs, who treat it as a toy. The machine suspects you of sabotage and responds in self-defense. You flee to the one place where you know you will be safe from the death fog and the rock fire. But before you can plan your rush to the call where you'll apply the failsafe, a falling object hits you on the head. In a flash, you are dead. But still, your objective burns in your mind. Get to the great ball of light at the core of the machine and turn off its defenses. All right. Minor constitution potion. Uh. Poor little guy. Order is not the answer. Answer search continues. Huh. I have so much fucking potions right now. It's ridiculous. Fuck, I don't even have enough space in my fucking skill bar for this. But then what do you have space for? Alright, what is this thing? Nothing, I guess. Uh, well, let me, let me, first off, let me just remove some of this shit, because it keeps adding it to my skill bar. Like, why do I have Razzle Dazzle the fucking engineer's approach? Who the fuck knows? Oh, apparently I learned some recipes, though. I just have a bunch of fucking trash here. Did, are you giving this to me? It's, I'm probably giving it to myself. Here, you, you fucking have it, Evan. Have all of it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Eat shit. Alright, let's go. Alright, there's like three things here. Alright, uh, you know, I have to fucking end the episode actually, so uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later, bye. Toodaloo!